said destiny has two categories, good and bad. Many persons are Christians born into suffering and die poor. They confess positively, you said, hold on to the promise, but still died without impact. What can you say about this, sir? All right. Like I said in the question, in the answer before now, too many people in church have a head knowledge of the truth. So they don't practice the truth they know. It only takes wisdom to practice the truth you know. If you say, okay, uh, you believe that Christ has redeemed you from poverty, sickness and disease, and you are only just confessing it, you could die poor. The Bible also makes us know that apart from the laws, which many of us in the New Testament now say, okay, the laws no more apply. What about the principle? The principles in scripture, the principles of sowing and reaping, the principles of, of diligence, studying to show, the principles of knowledge acquisition, the principles of training, transference of anointing, which comes by knowledge, by teaching, or by, by laying on of hands, or by prayer, by desire, by prayer and fasting. You, these principles, you cannot wish them away. You cannot know them away. You have to apply them. Wealth have principles. Financial prosperity have principles. It has the principles of, of knowledge. It has the principle of prayer. It has the principle of working. Work. It has the principle of excellence. Excellence. You can buy uh, uh, the tie of chicken or chicken wings from an ordinary shop for maybe a hundred naira a piece. But you buy that same piece of chicken in another restaurant for about 1,500 naira. One talks about excellence. The other one talks about the ordinariness that you have put on the value of that same piece of chicken. So, if you apply the principles of wealth, you will always be wealthy. You can't pray yourself alone into wealth. You have to pray and apply the scriptural principles for wealth before you can be wealthy. So, the part of the reason people die poor is that they die for lack of knowledge. Knowledge here is not talking about knowing. It talks about the application of what you know. All right? 